a smile etched across his face. I, I cannot think of anyone else on planet Earth who, who, who would have a toothy grin like that heading into an anything goes match with the Lucha Ghoul. But here we see Shunma as referee Scarlett Donovan rings the bell. It's time for Bedlam. Shunma is giving Sonico a, a present in the form of Legos. Very sweet. All right, this is nice. Listen, I, I was expecting to be to be grossed out and to be mortified by the violence. Well, yeah, maybe I'm gonna be still. The Lego box cracked across the skull of Sonico and the Lego bricks filling the canvas. A rainbow cacophony of pain. I'm gonna taste the rainbow, fans. They're gonna feel the rainbow. Oh! And it showed my being set back first, first. Fans, you remember growing up playing with Legos as a small child? You remember the pain when you would step on one? Yeah, these athletes are having their entire back lodged with them on a pro wrestling mat, no less. It's sick, it's twisted, it's DDT! Drop kick by Shunma, sending Sonico to the outside. I'm sure it's one of the only times Sonico is happy to be outside, close to that hardwood linoleum floor. It's farther away from the Legos. We want to thank our great pro wrestling faithful, our great prestige fans for providing so many of these Legos. It is thanks to you. We have them on, on display, and we are presenting you the violence that we are presenting. Use that hashtag vendetta. Let, let us know what you think of this glorious toy-based professional wrestling violence. As if there weren't enough Legos in the ring, Sonico searching for more plunder under it. And he has found a gusset plate. Fans, for those unfamiliar, a gusset plate is used to hold in the foundation of a house, like a, like a fully-fledged tome. And Sonico is about to dig one into the head of Shunua Katsumata. Not if Kachimata has anything to say about it. Kick to the gut. He now has the gusset in hand. And he's launching it into the shoulder of Sonic. Oh! Oh my god! Those are meant to hold down homes. They are currently in a man's bicep. Look at the look at the twitching of the fingers of Sonico. The blood is already starting to seep out. And as if that weren't bad enough, trying to dig one into the Lucha Ghoul's head. No, 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 Sonico, no! Giving Katsumata a taste of his own medicine. Oh God, I don't think a spoonful of sugar makes the gusset plate go down. Come on, we've already lodged them into each other's shoulders. Can we please be done with the gusset plates now? No! Shudma feels the exact same way. Blocking it at the last second. And now taking it into Zonico's back. Oh my god. Sonico told me earlier on tonight, he said he's already been victorious against one half of the KOD Tag Team Champions, Mao, the Mao of Shun Mao, who we're gonna see later on tonight in action against Kevin Blackwood. He said that, wow, no, what? Oh my God! Drilling it directly into the face of Shun Ma. <laughs> Sonico said that when, not if, when he defeats Shun Ma, after defeating him and Mao, he's gonna find a tag team partner, he's gonna go to DDT, he's gonna take those tag straps from him. But before we can think to the future, before we can think of Sonico and DDT, we have to think of, of surviving this matchup. The fight spilling to the outside, much like we saw seconds ago with Evil Uno and Jacob Fatu. I have a feeling this one will not be ending in a disqualification. And we're taking it to the bar. I, I, I feel like I need a stiff drink call in this one. I, I can hardly blame him here. We got Sonico just, just biting. 
gnawing at the, at the forehead of Shunma. As if a gusset plate wasn't enough, the noggin getting chomped on. Trading blows back and forth. You better tip the baristas well. The bartenders, excuse me. Uh oh. Katsumata with a beverage of some sort. He's giving him a drink. That's nice. It's nice, I guess. Kinda. And it only fired, only served to fire the Lucha Ghoul up. A little bit of liquid courage, perhaps. Returning the favor in kind. Hey, it, it, it's social lubricant. Perhaps it's also hardcore lubricant. Trading forearms back and forth. Take, taking the fight back to the locker. No! Taking the fight upstairs to, to the meet and greet area. The first time we were here at the glass house for Rise Above, Speedball Mike Bailey jumped off that balcony, and now Katsumata trying to send Sonico hurling over. Yeah, they, they gotta be careful here. This is. It's gotta be. That's gotta be what 15, 20 feet. That is no small jump. Oh, Sonico. From his bag of goodies at the merch table, found a staple gun. And now, with an 8x10 in hand, hoping to make some art work. And the canvas? The canvas is the face, Katsumata! Oh, but Katsumata, none too pleased at the disrespect, and I imagine the sheer pain of a staple gun. Go! Want to Sonico's chest! Sonico looking for an exit, but there is none to be found with Katsumata in tow. And once again, perched dangerously close to the top of that balcony. Going for the mouth, going for the black tongue of the Lucha Ghoul. But Sonico saying, not today. You already got a gusset plate in that shoulder. I might as well get a staple gun too. Oh my God, a, a, a dollar, a, a, a dollar, a, a dead president is stapled to the back of Shunma Katsumata. Tumbling down the stairs, but between that and the Legos, this really is like a piece of childhood. Chorus of welcome back chants from the fans. I don't think either of these athletes are making each other feel very welcome in this matchup. And now it is, it is Katsumata dragging Sonico back to the ring. The only place where this one can be won. But Katsumata gets drilled into that post. This is what DDT is all about, man. A unique blend of violence, fun. Yo! One of the most beloved promotions in all of Japanese pro wrestling. And we're giving you just a little bit of a taste of it right here before they go Hollywood in a couple months. Prestige Wrestling with a preview, a trailer of sorts, a teaser. And now Sonico, nobody home on that spin kick. Instead catches him directly in the gut. Don't need no stable gun, don't need no gusset plate, don't need no Lego, that hurts like hell. Shunma got the wind knocked out of him, but not enough. So that he didn't level Sonico with a sling shot drop kick. But did he hurt himself just as much in the process? He, he certainly had a bag full of Legos. Oh no, as if there aren't enough Legos. Shunma trying to electrify the Pomona crowd. Who's that Pokemon? Is that, is that Daryl? Look at Katsumata trying to bust the brain of the Lucha Ghoul. No. 
Sonico saying, not today. You can literally see it, it's a red Lego, so it might be hard to tell mixed in with the Blood fans, but there is a piece of Lego lodged into Sonico's skin. This is sick. Shunma blocks the shot. Onto the top rope. Asking the fans if they think it's the right call, and he is more than happy to oblige, biting the fingers of Sonico and sending him down to the canvas. Back full of Legos, world full of hurt. Katsumata. This cycle, this sick, demented freak is going back to the top rope. Nobody home! Katsumata dove directly into the deep end, and as he did, someone drained the, the, the pool of all its water. Sternum and face full of Legos. Oh, man. And Sonico back under the ring. What, what on earth? Could the Lucha Ghoul be searching for? It's another steel chair. You gotta wonder, I mean, Alan Angels, thankfully not here tonight, has been christening himself the new FNA. He's clearly disrespecting Sonico. Is that maybe getting under his head a little bit? I'm not sure. Is he maybe trying to prove something to Alan Angels to prove that once and for all, he is the ace? Opening a forbidden door world. <laughs> opening a forbidden door into a world of hurt for Shunma Katsumata. Easy for me to say, fans. I, I can barely speak. I'm so flustered by this action. Oh, Sonico trying to suplex Katsumata into that door. No! Not only is that a door, not only is, is it held up by two steel chairs that he neck clipped on, but it's also into the hard linoleum floor of the glass house. There is no give here, fans. And no give in that forearm. But Katsumata still surviving! And again, Brad falls! No trust needed! He got a face full and a chest full of Legos. He might as well get a back full of hard floor. You look up the word resilience in the dictionary. No, 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 forget that. You look up the word crazy in the dictionary and you see a picture of Shunma Katsumata. That might have been all Sonico needed. Didn't even hit him with a move. And still Katsumata able to kick out. And now Sonico measuring finally lands that spin kick. Katsumata is out cold. Sonico victorious. No! Where the hell is Shunma Katsumata finding it within himself to kick out? The punishment that we have, been, have seen here tonight, that he has taken tonight, has been otherworldly. It's still kicking out. Mercy, Sonico isn't done. Katsumata got to use these precious moments of reprieve, these precious seconds alone in the ring to recover. You can see Legos just, just dug into his skin. They're in so far that they're sticking. Oh. Sonico with more and more steel chairs. And another door. As if one wasn't enough, another door introduced into this equation. Sonico has a kendo stick, folks. Kane Dewey, or shall I say, Kane Katsumata, no! Katsumata now has the stick and is gonna use it right across the back of Sonico, lashing and whipping the Lucha goal. Back full of Legos, Katsumata 
fill in the stomach. What on earth does he have in store? He's going to the top. No, 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 no! Finally, the splash lands, leg hooked. Sonico kicks out. A splash from Shunma Katsumata with Legos digging into every inch of your body, front and back. And still, the ace of prestige proves why he has that moniker. Oh, look at Shunma. Setting up another element of destruction. Falling face first into it on the outside wasn't enough. He's gonna build it again. Of course he is. Shunma rearranging it, but wasting precious seconds as he does so. Putting a piece of a gusset plate and a whole hell of a lot of Legos on that door. Thought the greatest Lego-based tragedy was when a man fell into the, the river in Lego City. And now Katsumata heading to the top rope. We saw this stop before, but if it lands on this door covered in gussets and Lego, that's got to be it. And Sonico knows it. That's why he's scaling the stop rope. That is why he is stopping Katsumata before he can even think about it. No. No, Sonico, no! Sonico trying to counteract it with a, with a superplex. Now these two gladiators trading forearms on the top rope. Headbutt. But Sonico catches him with the red mist. AMF into a Lego gusset cover door. This has got to be it. And mercifully, it's over. The winner of this match, the Lucha Cool, Sonic.